Hello everyone and welcome to my annual SJSU orientation advice video. I'm not just making another one of these videos to get views, they actually change the structure of the orientation again. And I just want to make another one so there's no confusion. If you've watched some of my other orientation advice videos, this is going to be a little bit repetitive. But I am going to be going over the new schedule and everything like that. Because orientation can be pretty scary and intimidating and I want to help you all out so it's a little bit less scary. So the first thing that I always get asked is what should I bring to orientation? The main thing that I would suggest bringing is some sort of backpack or bag. They're going to give you one of those drawstring bags, but they're pretty small and they're not the most comfortable to wear. So I'd suggest just bringing a normal backpack so that you can carry all of your stuff. The second thing that I would recommend bringing is a water bottle because it might be like 80 or 90 degrees and hydration is always key. The next thing that I would recommend bringing is some sort of official form of identification, so state ID or driver's license or passport or something like that. That's going to be helpful for getting your student ID. And also now that most of you are probably 18, it's really important to carry an ID with you at all times. The last main thing that I would suggest bringing is any transcripts that you have from other colleges so that your advisors can help you figure out what classes you still need to take and other than that just bring clothes and toiletries because the orientation is two days now so you will be staying in the dorms just like I did when I did it and now that I talked about what to bring I'm going to talk about the schedule because it's different from how it was last year and it's different from how it was when I did it so the first main difference from how orientation used to be is the check-in time the check-in used to start at around 8 a.m. which was really difficult for people traveling out of the area but now the check-in is from 9 30 to 11 so you have a pretty wide window which makes it a lot easier to drive there from far away in the morning or to get an early flight into San Jose. So for the check-in, you're going to have to wait in a line and then they're going to check you in and give you all of the information and keys for your dorm that you're going to be staying in. I stayed in the dorms when I did orientation and it was totally fine. So after that, there's going to be some sort of welcome and then you're going to get to meet your orientation leader. All the orientation leaders that I've met have been really nice and awesome. So definitely take that time to ask them any questions that you have about SJSU. So then after that, you're going to have lunch and the resource fair. I don't think I need to explain lunch but the resource fair is a fair where a bunch of different departments and organizations on campus have tables and you can go up to them and ask questions. I actually work at Associated Students Transportation Solutions and we have a table at the resource fair and I'm going to be at every single orientation so definitely come up to my works table especially if you have any questions about transportation so I would highly recommend checking out a bunch of different tables at the resource fair. It can get kind of hectic but it was really helpful for me when I was an incoming freshman at SJSU because it just really helped me to learn more about what resources are available on campus. Then after the resource fair they're going to have a bunch of presentation and you're also going to have a little bit of free time before dinner. During the free time I would highly recommend getting your tower card. The tower card is SJSU's form of a student ID. So it looks like this. This is mine that I got at orientation and as you can tell mine's pretty faded because I've had it for a while. I don't know why but they always try to make this so much more complicated than it needs to be. They've been having people submit pictures online but all you really need to get this is some form of official ID. So definitely get this during free time if you can. Because once you get this and you're enrolled, you can start using SJSU services and you can also get student discounts, which is obviously really awesome. But then after the free time and the presentations, you're gonna have dinner. And then after dinner, you can hang out or go to the new aquatic center. And then of course, whenever you're tired, you can go back to the dorms and sleep. And then the next day after you wake up, you're gonna have breakfast. Then after that, you're gonna meet with your college and they're gonna give you an introduction to your college and talk about registration. And then you're gonna register for your classes and your advisor is going to sign off on them. For the registration, I would recommend bringing your own laptop if you can to make things a little bit easier. There's going to be a lot of people trying to get the same classes at the same time, so try to register as early as you possibly can because you really don't want to have those 7.30 a.m. classes, especially if you're commuting because that would be absolutely terrible. After you've registered for your classes, you can go and check out of the dorms and then you can go home or you can just explore campus or downtown San Jose a little bit more. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions about orientation, feel free to comment them down below or DM me and I'll try my best to answer them. Or if there's any other college videos you want me to make, feel free to comment those down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.